Hey, it's Mike with Gearhead Live, and I'm with Gary, owner of this, what is this, Gary? It's a 1913 Fiat 9-liter four-cylinder speed model. One of just about very few left in the world. All right. Give you a little background on that if you'd like. Uh, yeah, let's, let's walk around the car sure. as you uh, comment. Sure. Oh, these, these, these wheels. Aren't they incredible? <laughs> there are 37-inch uh, tires on this, and so the car, it's, it's like it's on steroids. It's a, it's a fantastic car. It's uh, been a dream of mine to uh, own something like this, but never in my wildest dreams did I ever believe that I would because they're so rare and so few. So to uh, compensate for that, I've been taking American LaFrance fire trucks and making them into my salute to the great cars of the heroic age, which is what this one is. So uh, it's very exciting wow. to have it. Uh, we brought it today for the first time out on the freeway, and it did. We brought it over at 65 miles an hour. It's on the telltale on the speedo, which is just uh, incredible for something that's 97 years old. And when this car was built. In Poughkeepsie, New York, it's by the way, is the uh, first foreign car company to ever build cars in the United States, and that was Fiat from 1910 through 1915, and they built uh, about 530 some odd cars, and of that, uh, uh, they were both six cylinders and four. This being the uh, the sport model that was raced by uh, greats such as Felice Nazaro and. Uh, and, and some of the greatest drivers of all time and won uh, Grand Prix and, and uh, races both here in California all over the United States. Uh, just a fantastic old gal, or boy, whatever you want to call it, I guess. <laughs> just an incredible car to uh, drive. It has four speeds. So uh, this is the first time that we've actually had it at uh, in fourth gear because it's it's so low gear uh -huh. that in 1913 they were guaranteed to do 70 miles an hour and at that time there were no paved roads in the United States. Oh, okay. So that's if you could get the cows and the sheep and the people out of the way. <laughs> yeah, be careful, huh? Yeah, it's going around this yeah, way. Sure, double spares you notice, but you needed those because tire. Uh, uh, weren't that good in those days and tended to blow up and fall off. Well, uh, plus no roads, all that debris in the way. I, you see the, the cockpit is, uh, we'll be coming to that in a minute, is very, very stark. Uh, it gets about seven miles uh, to the gallon, which we think is pretty good for this. Of course, it holds 50 gallons, so we can get to the corner and back a few times. It holds 50 gallons? Yeah. Wow monocle windshield so the uh, seat belts are on the passenger side I've got the steering wheel so, uh, <laughs> that should hold you back huh <laughs> absolutely it's uh, a gas pedal between the clutch and the brake you can pump up your fuel pressure it does have electric uh, uh, headlights on it which it didn't originally because it was uh, two years before electricity came in on headlights as a standard type of thing so this had a settling and that had been switched over to uh, electricity sometime after World War One. right okay just a great old car its number is 211 you can see it's a, it's a kind of a complicated complicated thing in some respects. You notice in the very front, in the lower right hand side of the radiator is this. This is a compression release. This is pulled out and you start the car on mag and when the car starts we push that in and that allows the compression to pick up and at that point we turn it on to battery and to run and now you're ready to go. All right. So it's just a few little simple things if you know what to do, but we didn't know what to do. So this was kind of like, what in the hell is that? <laughs> so we had to figure it out. We finally did. But uh, it's just a great running old car. It can sit for a month and lights right up. Bit noisy. Yeah. But four cylinders, nine liters, they're the size of a, damn near the size of a gallon can of paint. Wow. And you get four of them pitching around at, uh, 1500 RPM. 
Wow. You're doing something. It's like a ship. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. It's, it's a great piece. A lot of fun, and uh, we're glad to be able to come out to this show, which has always been great, because it's just, it's for gearheads, and that's what we like, people to come by, and this car you can touch, we don't care, that's what it's about, old cars are to be touched, and this has been touched for almost a hundred years. Yeah, right, this is a fantastic car, Gary. Thank you. Hey, Gary, thanks a lot for being My a pleasure. gearhead. Thank you. All right.